I have a question. Uh, I was just looking out at the audience. How many people here are either directors or aspiring directors? Okay. Oh, stop it. <laughs> All right, well, now this leads to my next question. Uh, we're, we're sitting up here, you're all sitting out there and thinking, well, we're really honored to be here with, with all these wonderful directors, but we up here are on, on, honored because we're probably sitting in the same room with the people who are going to be winning the Tony Awards in 2027 and 2030. And th th somewhere out there is that person or those people. So now I wanted to ask all of you, what, what if you, you are speaking now to, to your successors, what, what words of advice do you have for them? And I'm gonna open that up to anybody who is inspired. And then I'm gonna take some questions from some of you future Tony winners. Um, I would say something really uh, short and simple, which is uncharacteristic, I know. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't tell you what to do as directors, I mean, I, I think this is what marketing people tend to do. They, they, they tend to kind of predict the, you know, what's going to be happening in the future. And we know what happens to people who predict what, you know, what's going to happen in the future. They, they end up looking like fools. And uh, so I'm, I'm not going to predict you know, the art of tomorrow. Um, I, I would say that you know, and if you've gone to drama school, you'll, you'll already perhaps know this, but the only advice I ever could give to you know, emerging artists or, or, or students, the only advice that's meaningful is, I, I think the, the, the really critical thing to do is to find your people. And when you go to school, it's often the students that you work with that become the most important relationships as you move forward. And we're all in one way or another, you know, evidence of that. And so finding your people, you can't do this alone. So if you're a director, you need writers, and you need actors and designers, and you find people that you feel you can work with. And I use this phrase reflecting the world we live in, which is, I, I remember once using that on a student uh, in, in a group like this, and somebody said to me, maybe it's not enough just to reflect the world. Maybe we need to change the world. Maybe that's what we should be doing. So that would be my ambition for you, is to change the world we live in.